I've never seen you asked Democrats why they objected to the presidential certification in 2001. That was George W. Bush. Okay. In 2005, that was George W. Bush. And in 2016, that was Donald Trump. And so I don't think we should be okay, they, have they, a double standard here. Uh, okay. Well, there is a double standard because there's two different things going on. One is a remonstration, a mild protestation of something. They did. Oh, that was different. Bill Maher. If you or somebody that you work with happens to see this video, please, please bring me on your podcast so that I can educate you and your audience about Democrat election denial. For whatever reason, the people that you keep debating about this topic are only slightly more knowledgeable than you. I know that I just did a video about Bill Maher's election denial, but he's at it again and I just cannot help myself. And before we get into all of this, with everything going on in the world and with our economy, I think it's time to ask yourself, are you new to investing and do you have savings that need protecting? Right now, with the Middle East war, the Ukraine war, and maybe Taiwan very soon, you need a playbook that's safe. Allocate some gold right now and avoid the frenzied panic of the unprepared. When fear reigns, gold protects the wise. Noble Gold Investments offers a free five ounce America the Beautiful coin with new IRAs this month. Shield your savings with the Noble Gold Investments IRA. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com right now. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. The only gold company I trust. And remember, there's always risk in investment and there is no guarantees of any kind. Thing because stand up, you're one of 11 senators mm -hmm. who voted not to certify the last election. Okay, one of 11. Do you think Biden didn't win? Look, Biden is clearly the president. Well, that's not the question or the answer. <laughs> what an asshole. Hold on, Bill. How about this question? How many Democrats voted not to certify the 2004 election? Answer, 31 Democrats. How many times has Bill asked a Democrat about this? Zero. Oh, that was different. Did he win and is he the president? Yes. Was it fair? Look, there were lots of things that were unfair about the last election. But it's been combed over more than any election ever. Democrats, whose capacity for shamelessness never ceases to astound me, were no longer willing to play by the rules of democracy. Now, I know you're funny now, but is that a joke? <laughs> the the I, Democrats okay. are no longer willing to play by the rules of democracy. I wanted to read it because I feel like it's the exact opposite all right, all right, of so what I think, which is that the Republicans, including you, January 6th, et cetera, are the ones who are no longer willing to play by the rules of democracy. It seems like your idea has switched in the Republican Party to elections only count if we win. And then we will endlessly litigate them. Are you kidding me right now? Again, the sheer lack of self-awareness here is mind-blowing. Again, in 2000, we were told that Bush either stole the election or somehow cheated. There were riots at Bush's inauguration that even Bill Maher's buddy, Michael Moore, described as historic. No president had ever witnessed such a thing on his inauguration day. Large majorities of Democrats did not accept him as legitimate, and the media referred to it as the Bush regime throughout the entire years of his presidency. Let's go to the Reverend Al Sharp. The Reverend Sharpton, what making this letter and this panoply of the left condemning the Bush regime. Anyone tonight, the Bush regime rhetoric gets goofier and more desperate every day. And uh, if you look at our website, Chris, votenader.org, you'll see how we take a, apart the book, uh, the Bush regime. And we would agree that the middle class hasn't fared quite as well under the Bush regime as oh, uh, the Bush regime was still in power. Bush, Cheney, Rummy, the whole crowd was still there. Hated George Bush's regime only one million jobs have been created. Oh, that was good for And that's not even getting into all the mainstream assassination fantasies and merchandise that was out there. Then Obama wins and everything seems okay. Then Trump, a Republican, wins and what happens? They claim it's stolen by the Russians, Democrats riot at his inauguration, and we're treated to four years of Bill Maher and his cohorts treating him as a Russian agent that was installed by Vladimir Putin, thereby denying the results of the election. It seems like your idea has switched in the Republican Party to elections only count if we win, and then we will endlessly litigate them. Oh, that was different. Listen, I believe passionately in democracy, and, and I also believe voter fraud is a real and persistent problem. 
and it's weird that Democrats it's have not. taken the view. It's been studied. Okay. Stop using touchscreen computer voting because it's so vulnerable. I need to think that our voting machines are too vulnerable. For researchers have repeatedly de demonstrated that ballot recording machines and other voting systems are susceptible to tempering. Even hackers with limited prior knowledge, tools, and resources are able to breach voting machines in a matter of minutes. In 2018, electronic voting machines in Georgia and Texas deleted votes for certain candidates or switched votes from one candidate to another. The biggest seller of voting machines is doing something that violates Cybersecurity 101, directing that you install remote access software, which would make a machine like that, you know, a magnet for fraudsters and hackers. These voting machines can be hacked quite easily. This video is literally another 20 minutes of Democrats claiming election fraud. And you can find the full video in the description. And it's weird that Democrats it's have not. taken the view. It's been studied. Okay, so you don't think it is, but you know what? I have never once seen you or, or any other host Ask Hillary Clinton why she said in 2016 that Donald Trump was an illegitimate president. I've never seen you ask Democrats why they objected to the presidential certification in 2001. That was George W. Bush. Okay. In 2005, that was George W. Bush. And in 2016, that was Donald Trump. And so I don't think we should be okay, they, have they, a double standard here. Uh, okay. Well, there is a double standard because there's two different things going on. One is a remonstration, a mild protestation of something. I, I was they did. Al Gore was the head of the Senate at the time. He had to pass the baton in an election. He knew he won, and his... He, he knew and, he won. And the Wait, other are you an election denier? You just said Al Gore won that election. Well, he... At that moment, for a brief, almost infinitesimal snapshot in time, Bill Maher realized a hard pill to swallow for him and other similar-minded Democrats that, yes, indeed, he was the very election denier he had been stoking fear about. And maybe it was time to come clean and uh, <laughs> it's different and i'm gonna drop a conspiracy theory to explain it okay he did not win i mean he won, i'm your sorry you're right you're right I, I meant to say he won the popular vote <laughs> Boy. here we go but won, but that's not yes i understand i understand but the other candidate's brother stopped the count okay or, that's that or, is that's not accurate the supreme court stopped the count his own brother w ran that the election in his florida his brother was which the was governor where... of florida you know they counted okay the well, hold on hold on a second i mean facts matter they counted the votes four times in florida okay george w bush won all four times i was part of the legal team litigating the... that case so I, I was intimately involved in bush versus gore bigger... every time they counted the votes bush won the bigger point is that al gore took one for the team no the bigger point here is that when you say al gore took one for the team you're saying that the election was stolen but that he went along with it anyway for democracy he came out and said okay you know this was a really fucked up election but this is america the jewel in our crown is that we pass power peacefully and i'm not going to be the first guy not to do that The chaotic scene just blocks outside the secure area of the inauguration and parade route. I personally have anti-establishment slants, but I don't think that this is anything that I want to be a... So she did it before the sun rose. She did it before the cock crowed three times. She came out and said, Trump is the president. That's what you guys will not do. Trump knows he's an illegitimate president who got illegitimate foreign help. Why do you think the president is going to such great lengths to essentially prove that he beat you? Because he knows he didn't. He knows he's an illegitimate president. Illegitimate. There was a widespread understanding that this election was not on the level. Bush versus Gore. A court took away a presidency. As we look at our election system, I think it's fair to say that there are many legitimate questions about its accuracy, about its integrity. The one thing that Trump is fearful of uh, when it comes to his being president is that finally we will see how illegitimate his victory actually was. She came out and said Trump is the president. That's what you guys will not do. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. I hope you enjoyed it and keep coming back for more. See you on the next one.